It's usually one of the busiest shopping days of the year, but like everything else these days, Black Friday is just a little bit different here in 2020. Like Black Fridays of years past, some stores open their doors before <laughs> dawn, but to fewer crowds and shorter lines. Retailers and shoppers are trying to balance safety with convenience as they navigate this holiday season. Many companies are offering their best deals online over a longer period, trying to keep shoppers out of stores as much as possible. We saw early this year retailers really adapting very, very quickly to the changed environment. So far this month, online shoppers have spent more than $60 billion. Sales are expected to top $10 billion today alone. That is up 39% from last year. Wow, and while we aren't seeing the massive lines with crowds of people waiting overnight because of the spike in coronavirus cases, mass bargain hunters are still out there hitting the stores. Here's NBC4's Christine Kim. As people are spending their money differently this year, the dollars are shifting from things like travel and going into items for your home and clothing. Here are the boots that I got. A line down the block in Magnolia Park as shoppers wait to enter. It's a wrap production, a family owned store selling secondhand clothes from TV studios. Whatever we can do to support, you know, we don't have a lot of money as most people this time, but we'll go to the small stores. The slash prices and shopping small, a big draw for many in line. And the big stores, they'll survive, but these smaller businesses, when thing, the dust settles, that's what makes our community are these small mom and pop businesses. A clerk here says during the pandemic, this is a welcome sight because this is no ordinary Black Friday. At the Glendale Galleria, it's a different experience for shoppers. Masks, hand sanitizer, and limited store capacities. Businesses expecting to see less foot traffic compared to previous years. For the Black Friday weekend in particular, shoppers told us in our Deloitte survey that they would spend about 3% less overall between in-store and online. When you look at the total holiday spend, uh, we actually think it'll be up marginally over last year. Retailers are counting on consumers to splurge after a tough year, but with the pandemic, money is tight for many families. I wanted to get clothes because that's kind of more important this year than the toys. Shoppers bargain hunting at the Citadel outlets where stores are offering expedited shopping and virtual lines to help manage crowds. But even before stores opened at 6 a.m., some were already waiting in line to get their shopping done within a budget. Got to keep in mind how much I need to spend and how much I cannot. Christine Kim, NBC4 News.